Hi guys, what's up? As you know, I'm... Hi guys, what's up? As you know, I've started my Getting Dressed in the Morning video series and I've been slacking a little bit, but I'm back on track, back in New York. Definitely helps being at home and being able to do this. Playing around with the um, format a little bit, so today is a little bit different than the videos you've seen in the past, but that's okay. And today, my style topic is styling this wonderful scarf from AM, AM Club. My uh, friend Amy Marietta actually designed some. So here's what it looks like all together. And uh, first of all, I want to show you how you how I roll it up. So obviously you fold it once in the middle, which is the easy part. And then you don't go from the long end, you go from the pointy end. So you don't have any, the pointy end, you don't have it flopping around in the back when you actually wear it around the neck. So roll it down that way, tie it around once. And then an important thing to make that look work is don't tie it too tight, I think. Uh, it's definitely a very um, feminine look altogether. So you, you have to be very careful in how you wear it. Not only how you style it, but also how you actually wear it. So I wear it a little bit loose, makes it a little bit easier to wear. Again, it's going to be really important to not make this too feminine, so I'm going to keep it very minimal with the look. And this is the first option that I thought was uh, good. A uh, navy t-shirt, very simple. It's a great fabric. It's actually from H&M, but it feels very, like, qu the quality is really great on it. Um, rolling up the sleeves a little bit so you can see uh, well, you can see a little bit more of the arms. I like the I like the aesthetic of it. I don't like it when the when the sleeves, as right now, like, as I'm just sitting here, right, um, they're standing off a little bit. So I, I like rolling them up. It just makes it look a little bit more neat. Uh, Try playing around with tucking it in, and then here's the first pair um, of jeans I tried on, and I kind of liked it. So the the light blue really works with the light blue turquoise-ish of the scarf. So that's where I was gonna go. Again, it's a little bit more of a relaxed fit, trying to kind of counteract that what, what what could be a more feminine look. Playing around with that, I do with pretty much every outfit. I try how much I need to roll up the pants. If so, two, three times, or larger, smaller, at all, I don't know. That's something I try and play around with. Here, the pants are actually a little bit too relaxed, so I'm trying to see what it would look like belted, so I'm trying to, you know, clamp, clamp them with my hands. Yeah, that's kind of the process there. I, uh, tucked in is what I really liked about this look. It kind of works with the, with the aesthetic of the scarf. And then here we have the first two shoe options. So I went with a Bordeaux, Bordeaux sneaker, um, which plays into the color of this again. And um, the derby we'll talk about in a second. The Velcro sneakers are super cool. I know a lot of you have been asking about them and seeing them on Instagram. I, they're, they're a great sneaker and I do really like them with the look. They pick up the color from the scarf, it's not too much of a distraction, it's not too loud of a color. It really kind of just works. But I did want to try on the other ones. So they're a lot more of a dressier option and I didn't even talk about the belt. I also put on a belt because I thought I needed a belt. So I have a navy belt on. I don't know when I, when I added that, I didn't miss that. I didn't like the shoe so much and something about the look didn't just feel right yet, so I uh, tried on a different pair of pants. And that pair of pants is a navy tailored pant. So the entire look is uh, significantly more monochrome, obviously. Do you like how the socks kind of match the scarf? Not that you would see them because they're no-show socks, and no, I'm not wearing barefoot shoes. There they are, no-show socks. Anyway, I threw the belt out. Belt didn't work for me, that look. Um, so anyway, here I am again, monochrome look, no belt, and with the sneakers. I do like the sneakers a lot because they do pick up the thing, I said it three times now, but here even something still felt a little off. It was, it was a good look, but it felt a little bit boring. Now, um, the pant was also just a tiny bit too long, so I tried rolling them up, which with tailored pants isn't as easy as with jeans. Tried it anyway, didn't quite work out, so here I am rolling them back down. <laughs> okay, next try. So to make it a little bit more interesting, I thought I might add a, a shirt around the waist because as you can see, there's little yellow touches in this thing. So I try, I always try and get inspired by the colors that I, I have. Um, when, you, when you tie a shirt around your waist, it's always important to kind of to unroll the sleeves because it's already bulky enough in the front as is. So if you unroll them, it makes it a little bit easier. Here's a look with the yellow. It's bright and light and breaking up the look in a very, very harsh way. And together with the Bordeaux sneaker, for me it was just too much color. So I changed into another sneaker. 
as you can see right here. But even with that, the whole monochrome thing worked a lot better with the without the yellow shirt, so I got rid of the shirt and went with the sneakers. Same thing, wasn't quite there yet. So, next thing I tried was this jacket. Now I know it's like a thousand degrees in New York right now, but it was gonna rain on that day. So I thought I'd at least try it on because it worked so well with the look, it had some navy details. This jacket is from uh, No Nationality 07 and I just got it recently, I haven't had the chance to wear it. I just wanted to throw it on, see what it would look like. It looked great, I, I, just not really uh, appropriate for the weather out. Not even tied around the waist. Uh, the tying around the waist I wanted to make happen so badly, it's not a thing. In the summer, layering is so difficult, tying around the waist could be a great option, but not with any of these pieces. Here I am, stumped again. I am putting on my shoes again. Oh, because I changed my... <laughs> so this is the thing about the new format. I kind of need to... I cut my video up, I shot it separately, so I need to kind of remember what I did. I tried on different pants. These are a tiny bit shorter. These are from Zara. And they have a windowpane grid pattern on them. So they're actually a little bit more interesting than a solid navy blue. A little bit more fitted. So I thought they might work better, better with this outfit. Which turns out, and here I am putting a, a, a belt back on, uh, actually. This time I didn't miss it. And the belt worked well here, kind of separated the outfit for a monochrome thing, like really subtly, it's really just a buckle that kind of stands out. But it added a little bit more to the outfit, as I said, it needed just some more subtle things to make it happen. In terms of accessories, I really thought I had the ideal idea for this. Accessories that I've been using a lot, my Piaget watch, my Apple Apple Watch um, pocket watch, and the reflective shades from uh, Gentle Monster, but I didn't like the way it looked, it was too shiny for me, and I went without them. So I went looking for other accessories that might work better. So I grabbed my Apple Watch and I took it out of the pocket watch case, which I hadn't done in a while because I really like it as a pocket watch put on my navy strap and added a, a navy bracelet which worked a lot better for me on the wrists. So the last thing I had to choose was sunglasses and I had these two options, both navy, one from Tots and one from Ryan. These are new and they have a beautiful little yellow detail on the side, you know how I talked about the yellow in the scarf before. So here I actually have them on for the first time and I look around a little bit confused because the, <laughs> the um, effect of these shades actually insane. The Todd's are beautiful shades. Uh, I tried these on afterwards, which I didn't like as much. I decided to go for these because they were actually really freaking cool. The sky looked amazing and it looked great with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys can put it to good use because I know these are, I mean I personally really like wearing scarves like that, but they can be really really hard to pull off, so keep in mind that you want to keep it a little bit more basic, that you don't want to go all out in terms of the flamboyancy of your look because they add a lot to it as is. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it or you want to see something else or you want to see more, in any of those cases leave a comment. I do read through all the comments and I'll try and get back to all of you. And I will see you very soon because I already have the next video shot. <laughs> Bye guys.